Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Apollo Ben, your brand new video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to trick shot on Model for 3. Can't believe you hated, thought that we was going strong. I can't believe you lied and said you got it on your own. So you probably clicked on this video because you saw a crazy TikTok video of somebody spinning the circles on this game and the whole lobby was screaming like it was 2012 again. Or maybe you were on an enemy team on high rise and you seen everybody jumping off the map. You seen people spinning the circles and uh, one of the straight bullets ended up catching you at last, you feel me? And you seen the kill cam and you hear the whole enemy team screaming like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And you found it pretty amusing and pretty cool. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Not only just for the newcomers though, it's for the intermediates, the people who want to learn new stuff. Some of the stuff I would discuss in this video are some things that are gatekeeped in the community because a lot of people are selfish. Content over here is not selfish, you feel me? So I'm gonna lay it out, I'm gonna lay out everything that works for me, everything I do when it comes to trick shotting. Hey Apollo, how do you fake that? How do you fake that? I'm gonna teach it in this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 10k subscribers. I appreciate you guys for 5k subscribers. We spent that shit last month, you feel me? But we're on the bigger and better, you feel me? We're only elevating over here, you feel me? But with that being said, for for for, that's enough of me yapping. Let's get to this video. First things first, we're going to fix our settings. So we're going to go over here to our... First thing we're going to change, this is what works for me. We're going over sensitivity, okay? So for me personally, I play on an FOV of 100. So you'll go to your graphics over here. And you go all the way to your field of view. You feel me? I play on 100. So the key is, if you, the higher uh, FOV you play on, the lower your sensitivity is supposed to be. If you play on 120 FOV, you're supposed to play on like 14, 14 sensitivity. So for me, what works for me and what helps me time my shots is I play on 100 FOV. So I change that to 100, as you guys can see in the video. And then I go to my uh, actual sensitivity. So we're going to go over there. And we're going to play on 18, 18. So I play on an FOV 100 with a sensitivity of 18, 18. Again, so I play on FOV of 100 and I play on the sensitivity of 18-18. But then most importantly, you want to go over here where you see, like, when you hit your sensitivity, you want to change that shit to custom. First thing you got to do is put it to custom and then you see where it says show more, press square or whatever system you're playing with. Press that button where it says show more and um, you're going to change this to 1.0. I don't know why it was at 0.90, but you're going to change that to 1.0. It's usually at default 1.2. You don't want that, bro. You want that shit at 1.0. It makes it feel like the older Call of Duty's and shit like that when you're trick shotting on it. So after you, you set it to 1.0, you go back up to whatever sensitivity you were at. So again, back to 18, and that's it for sensitivity. You do it for both the vertical and horizontal. And that's it when it comes to sensitivity. So next up, we're gonna be going over gameplay settings. So basically, this is what helps me in game and shit like that. You feel me? The most important thing out of this thing right here is you want your equipment behavior to be on toggle so here you go toggle so what this does is basically you know when people like equipment cancel like let's say i had a throwing knife on right when i tap my l1 button right when i tap it, it like i have to cancel it real quick by pressing y right so instead of me like tapping it and like my knife throws like instantly or whatever if I tap it it literally holds it doesn't let go unless I tap it again so I have to double tap it in order to let it go so this helps with equipment cancels for me personally and a lot of people in the community realistically if you didn't play MW19 or MW22 this is how you really equipment cancel on this game like regularly like that's how you consistently equipment cancel without throwing your knife or anything by mistake you feel me I feel like a lot of people by accident throw their stuff and they don't know like you can you can really stop that like this eliminates that like 100% like no bullshit like but basically it puts it on toggle what toggle does you know when I press the L1 button or R1 I'm so sorry when I press the R1 button it literally just holds the knife and then I can press Y and it will put it back down you feel me and instead of me like having to like R1 and press Y at the same time or trying to go at the same time so quick like what the fuck you feel me so that's that's the most important step another thing I usually do I have um single tap run because when I'm trying to run onto like um platform like you know when there were glitch spots like the underpass glitch spot or am I let's say I'm on high rise and I'm on the uh, green crack house right and I want to like strafe onto the roof or whatever instead of me triple tapping my analog or whatever I just tap my analog one time and my guy's running you feel me it eliminates me trying to triple tap and missing jumps and stuff like that and I can literally full on sprint I don't know why Call of Duty did that but yeah it is what it is so that's literally it on my controller settings um, I can if you guys want to copy all the rest of the settings I have going on here you can it's really not that big of a deal the only thing I have changed is really slide I have I play on slide only I don't like to dive in Call of Duty especially in like heated moments where I have to get away I rather slide than dive because yeah I don't know but other than that everything else is pretty default you feel me I'm gonna just go down for you guys for anybody who wants to copy 
um, I have tap to reload instead of like holding holding the reload because if I want to do fake silent shots you have to do um you have to have that on uh, tap to reload if you know how to fake silent shot you know what I'm talking about other than that somebody just joined my party randomly um yeah that's pretty much it real quick if you made it this far into the video go ahead and leave a like comment and most importantly subscribe it helps out so much so big important thing I play on a controller I don't know how to really trick shot on keyboard and mouse you feel me but for my controller users you feel me I play on claw if you don't know what claw is I, I don't really know how to teach it I can really just show it you feel me if you want some more details on how to play claw go ahead and look up YouTube videos on how to do it there's plenty of videos I learned how to play claw back in 2009 MW2 days you feel me I, that was like way back then you feel me but basically this is what claw is it's like I play like this when I'm trick shotting I play like this I don't know how to do this for real for real the camera so I play like this you feel me this is so when I'm trick shotting and spinning so I spin with my thumb like this over here and then I like switch weapons like that and it just it's just easy oh damn I think my knife but it's just easier for me when I play like this this is claw you feel me if you want more details on how to play claw just like I said I'm not the guy to teach it is that's just something you learn on your own you go to private match and you just learn you just start playing like that and eventually you get the time you get used to it you feel me but I play pretty much regular when I'm trying to clear out but um next up we're gonna be talking about inspecting instant inspecting as you guys can see as you can see right now I have to hold down my analog so you know everybody knows how to inspect you gotta hold down this right here blah blah, blah 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 but you know it's annoying when you're on trick shot and you get peeled because you gotta wait for your inspector to, you know come out when you're trying to go for a shot so to eliminate all that bro to literally eliminate all that how to do it this is like everybody asks me this all the time how do you instant inspect in my videos and stuff like that I play on PC so I'm able to instant inspect by play by binding my inspect button through Steam because I have the game on Steam or you can use a program like DS4 or anti-macro. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Basically, I have I use anti-macro. I used to do it through Steam, but now I just use anti-macro. It's just so much easier for me. So program is I'm gonna have the uh, program down below. So you download anti-macro and it kind of looks like this. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. So as you guys can see, boom, this is uh anti-macro, just how it looks for me. So what I do here is as you guys can see, this is this is my controller. My controller is plugged in. It's me going down up like on a z-pad as you guys can see. So basically since I play on PC, my bind so the inspect on PC you press I. So I bind my left, you know, D-pad to I. That's literally all I do. All I gotta do is tap it one time. And that's it. That's literally how you instant inspect. I know for sure for console players, I feel like if you have paddles, I'm pretty sure somebody had told me on console and that they have paddles and you can like you can bind your paddles to inspect you feel me and it's the same way so that's pretty much how you instant inspect um besides that that's that's the only way i know you can do it you can't do it off default off the game settings or nothing like that you literally have to use a third party you know app do it through steam or you know if you have paddles that's how you instant inspect you feel me that's pretty much it so you want to know how to fake that so for me what helps me again this is what I do, this is what I do, this is my gatekeep. This is what I gatekeep, because people always ask me, how do you do it so well, how do you do it so instant, da, da, da. I don't script or none of that. But again, this is what I do. So I go back into the anti-macro app, you feel me, as I showed y'all earlier. You know how I binded my, uh, my inspect over here? So I'm gonna bind my knife button to my down D-pad. This is what I do. So my knife for PC is V, and um, this is it. So I literally, so to do it, you have to knife, equipment cancel, and switch weapons all at the same time. So to do that, like, playing default, and I play tactical. So you know, this is me playing regular. This is me playing regular. I got to do this to do it, in order to do it. So for me to do this in-game while trick shotting like this, because I play tactical, I have to play stretch while trick shotting, and that's just too much work for me. So instead of doing that, I bind my knife button to my down D-pad so I can spin while doing it. So here it goes. And that's it. This is all I do. It's so easy, bro. It's literally so easy. And then if you play default again, you just got a knife, uh, equipment cancel, and uh, press Y at the same time. That's literally it. And if you play tactical, it's just, just it's like this. Fuck, I threw my knife. So it's literally like this. It's so easy to do. That's how you fake knife. You feel me? It just takes practice. You feel me? The more you do it, the more you get better at it. And that's pretty much it. That's that's the key right there. That's my gatekeep. That's my little tip for you guys. If you guys are struggling how to fake knack because you have to play stretch to do it, bind if you have again if you have a PC and if you have toggles, to like not toggles, but if you got paddles, bind your knife button to something else 
and you'll be able to do it while splitting. That's literally it. I don't do that scripting shit that y'all be seeing and hearing on Twitter and stuff like that. That's not me, bro. So I get a lot of questions on how to do the flamethrower knack. How am I going from a flamethrower to the knack every single every single time in my shots? You feel me? So this is what I do. I shoot. I press Y to cancel out of it, out of it, and then I fake knack. That's literally it. I spin. Uh, that's literally it, bro. That's all I do. So it's literally uh. Flamethrower, press Y, fate knack, fate knack back, flamethrower Y, fate knack, and that's it. That's all I do, bro. It's nothing special. So let's do it again. Let's do it again. So, uh, fate knack, fate knack again. Uh, oh, maybe that's a triple. Is that a triple fate knack? I just peeked that. Yeah, I think it is a triple fate knack. So, one more time. Let me show you guys one more time. So I shoot, press Y, fate knack, fate knack, shoot, press Y, fate knack. So it is three. That's three fate knacks. Holy shit! I didn't even know that. So yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And that's how you do it, bro. No gatekeeping. I promise. I even should. I left up my uh, anti macro so you guys can see all the buttons I'm pressing, bro. Ain't no scripting going on around here, bro. I'm showing you all the proof right here. With that being said, but I got. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's pretty short and pretty simple. I hope you guys did learn something kind of new. You feel me? It was for um the newcomers and for the people who kind of struggle on this game on how to time the shots. Little key things that people don't tell you unless you know. Or you trick shot it on the old cards before and um with that being said y'all i just hope you guys picked up something and learned something and i hope you guys did enjoy this video it's been your boy apollo again please leave a like comment and subscribe it helps out so much and with that being said it's been your boy apollo i'll catch you on the next one peace